Central Defense Force of Ethiopia and the, the Tigray militia is in uh, clash. And finally, the Defense Force announced the completion of the operation and cease of military operation in the region. What's your overall comments over the victory achieved by the National Defense Force so far? Yeah, uh, this is a, a very uh, sad uh, to hear the regional uh, government uh, military officials or the regional government, uh, the former uh, regional government officials now, the, the, the renegade junta has attacked uh, the federal uh, government armed forces and the action taken by uh, the federal government is right. It was committed uh, a high treason action and the measures that has been taken to ensure the rule of law was uh, right and the final victory that has been achieved by uh, debilitating this uh, junta and it is uh, Militia is uh, achievement, a great achievement for the peace-loving uh, people of Ethiopia and for the supremacy of the law. So uh, at the beginning, we were very uh, sad by the attack of our national defense forces, which have been stationed there for almost more than two decades and defending uh, the territorial integrity and sovereignty of Ethiopia and the protecting the, 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 the people of Tigray and also helping in daily life of uh, the community in all the ways the, the armed forces are engaging in various activities including harvesting, uh, fighting locust swarm and many other uh, economic activities of the people. So it was never uh, expected uh, from uh, the military junta to, to, to attack such uh, serving uh, armed force. Unfortunately, that was happened and finally the, the, the successful completion of the law, for, uh, law, law enforcement measure by the army and the federal government is a very remarkable achievement and I'm uh, so glad the entire uh, Ethiopian uh, community residing in the western coast are very glad they have expressed uh, their satisfaction and uh, uh, happiness, pleasure uh, with the successful uh, completion of law enforcement measures taken by the federal government. When this operation is fully completed, in what way is the federal government of Ethiopia and other stakeholders can assist the citizens who fled to different countries due to the situation in the region so as to rehabilitate them once the operation is fully completed? Yeah. Uh, already the government has declared that it, ha it is uh, willing to, to bring uh, uh, home the displaced persons or uh, uh, those who are crossing to Sudan and to uh, other uh, places due to uh, the war that has been waged uh, by the military junta, the TPLF junta. Anyway, uh, in this regard, the, the commitment of the government is very uh, amazing. I like that. And uh, now the government is uh, working on that. Uh, and in this regard, our consulate general, the entire Ethiopian community across the globe are ready to help. And tonight we have organized a meeting of fundraising uh, to, to raise a fund for the displaced persons and those who are victims of this imposed uh, violence by the TPLF junta. So, uh, we are uh, assisting the efforts undertaken by the government to, to rehabilitate uh, and to re-establish our, our people who are uh, 
victims of uh, this uh, violence perpetrated by the, the clique. What's expected from the international stakeholders, organizations and friends of Ethiopia in time of need? Meaning, in what ways they can assist this country? Yeah. Uh, the first thing the international community needs to understand is the law enforcement measure taken by uh, the government is uh, due to the unexpected uh, violence that has been imposed on the government by uh, the renegaded uh, clique, the, the TPLF Junta. And we have communicating this uh, through various means to the international community uh, and the government is uh, also very well uh, communicating this, this matter to the international community so that the international community properly understand uh, what is going on and uh, the Ethiopian uh, diaspora are working uh, tirelessly with regard to uh, clearly help understand uh, the situation by the international community. Now, uh, what uh, required is to, to, to uh, help those who are displaced to rehabilitate uh, the, the damaged uh, infrastructure, to, uh, to help the community, to reestablish their uh, uh, daily lives, and uh, to, to uh, bring peace in that uh, part of Ethiopia. That is what required from the international community. They have to understand the situation clearly. That is uh, the right thing uh, need to be done. In what ways that your council residing in Los Angeles, U.S. has been assisting the country and forming the international community about the recent developments in Ethiopia as well as to have a tangible and clear information about the updates? Our consulate general is working with the community, uh, the Ethiopian uh, American citizens uh, who are residing in the West Coast, so that they are reaching to their uh, official, to their elected officials. So uh, the elected officials of the U.S. government understand the true uh, nature of the situation, and they are also organizing themselves in a public uh, help uh, the international community understand. They have uh, reaching to various uh, decision-making organs, elected officials. So in this regard, uh, a very uh, commendable job has been uh, done. With regard to uh, uh, assistance, they have already established a fund uh, raising uh, activity. So now the community is starting to generate resources to help the displaced persons and all victims of violence uh, by uh, the TPLF Junta. And in this regard, a very, very uh, good work has been started. Uh, tonight, we have a meeting with the more than 500 Ethiopian uh, American uh, citizens residing in the West Coast. So we will uh, update them on the situation and they are willing to help in various ways, including by donating uh, to re-establish the, the, the victims of the violence imposed by the, the clique. After fully controlled the region, including the capital city of uh, Tigray Regional State, which is Makale, what kind of work should be done by the National Defense Force of Ethiopia? Yeah, uh, the first thing always is to uh, ensure law and order uh, in the regional state and also to, to protect uh, civilians from uh, the violence uh, committed by by this uh, clique, and also to, to clearly understand uh, help the community, uh, the Tigrayan uh, compatriots, to understand what the true intention of the federal government and how this uh, clique is violating the law of the country, the constitutional order, 
by uh, uh, treasonous, high treasonous act, and also uh, as uh, already uh, known, the the armed forces of Ethiopia have a good uh, relation with the Tigrayan uh, uh, people. So that uh, good relation has to be re-established again. And uh, the perpetrators of uh, this heinous crime has to be brought to justice and law and order has to be ensured and civilians has always been protected. In what ways uh, the people of the country can support and stand by by the side of the National Defense Force of Ethiopia? Yeah, the people of the country has already shown their uh, support to our National Defense Forces for uh, the law enforcement measure taken by the government. They have assisted uh, the measures uh, in various ways including uh, supporting uh, with uh, various uh, food items, materials uh, for, the, for the armed forces. And also they are donating in mass, as I can see from here, on uh, various activities that has been taken place in the area of uh, supporting the national uh, armed forces. People are donating their blood uh, for, for uh, uh, wounded uh, soldiers so this is a very very uh, uh, wonderful job that has been done by by ethiopian uh, people so that has to be continue until the full uh, uh, recovery of the people of tigray is ensured because always when war is imposed by on the people uh, People are suffering not only materially, they are also suffering psychologically. So uh, there is a need to heal the entire uh, uh, region from, from the wounds of this uh, imposed war by the clique. So uh, it has to be uh, continued as has been already started, uh, I think. Uh, Ethiopian people are uh, uh, taking part in the in the in their part in, in ensuring uh, that our national defense force has been uh, sustained, uh, uh, fully fully backed uh, in various uh, needs it it, it uh, require uh, to to uh, complete its work. In this critical time for the country, Ethiopia, what would be the role of Ethiopian diplomats as well as Ethiopian embassies residing in almost all parts of the world? Yeah, the, the main uh, role of Ethiopian diplomats, as I can see, is to, to help the international community understand the situation clearly, rightly, and how this uh, clique has violated the, the common standard of uh, uh, good citizenship, how this clique is violating the constitutional order of the country, how uh, the, the war is imposed on the uh, national defense forces by attacking them uh, in the midnight while they are in, uh, in their uh, camps. And this act of high treason is a criminal act in any part of the world so it has to be clearly uh, uh, communicated to the international community and to all our partners in, in, in the world uh, including uh, international um, uh, organizations and uh, international uh, and uh, various countries uh, in which we are a good uh, diplomatic relation. So we have to reach uh, to the international community uh, properly and communicate uh, how the, the KPLF Junta violated all common standards uh, known to, to uh, people, uh, common standards uh, or common uh, rules. Uh, any Any country is uh, abiding by 
and how uh, this uh, war that is imposed on the people of Tigray by this uh, junta is against the, the constitutional order of the country and all international laws. So by this way, the international community can understand uh, the true nature of uh, this, uh, this act of violence perpetrated by the TPLF junta. Coming to the participation of the Ethiopian diaspora, what would be the role of Ethiopian diaspora at this moment? Uh, Ethiopian diaspora are always uh, very keen in the support of uh, the current government of Ethiopia. Uh, in particular, uh, the measures uh, taken by the government of the Prime Minister of Abiy Ahmed is uh, very, very welcome by Ethiopian uh, diaspora. Uh, so uh, they are willing to, to support the efforts of uh, the government to, to ensure the rule of law. And they have, as I've already mentioned, they have already started uh, to raise funds. They have uh, supported various uh, demonstrations and reaching to various uh, government officials to, to effectively communicate uh, what is uh, going on in Ethiopia in the law enforcement arena. The Ethiopian diaspora is uh, working closely with, with Ethiopian uh, embassies, with Ethiopian uh, nations uh, in, 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 in communicating and in uh, uh, effectively reaching to various uh, decision-making organs of various uh, governments of uh, uh, friendly countries. In, and also the, they are uh, supporting our national uh, defense forces and uh, all those displaced persons with uh, material uh, needs. So uh, when we see our case in, here in the West Coast, we have already started to raise uh, funds through uh, GoFundMe platform and uh, the, the, the diaspora are very welcome uh, the measures taken by the government to ensure law, uh, law and order in the country and to bring to justice uh, the, the perpetrators of this, this heinous act of uh, uh, treason. Well, in what ways the government can ensure peace and stability in the region, in the Tigray regional state Ethiopia, when this operation is fully accomplished? Yeah, as I have already mentioned, uh, the government is uh, there to enforce the rule of law. The Tigray uh, people well understand uh, what the intention of the federal government is how uh, this uh, junta is uh, violating the law of the land, how it uh, violates the constitutional uh, order of the country. So uh, the, peop the government is supposed to, to work closely with all uh, peace-loving people of Tigray, uh, with uh, various uh, elders, religious leaders, uh, community leaders, and also all uh, government uh, functionaries or government organs that are not engaged uh, in this, in this uh, violence. Otherwise, uh, the, the, the people of Tigray is well aware how uh, the, the junta is uh, violating uh, the rules of uh, the country how the junta is violating the constitutional order, how the junta is uh, killing uh, and maiming uh, members of the armed forces while they are uh, in, in protecting their country and their people. So uh, it has to reach to the people. Uh, uh, the government has to communicate what is going on and help the community to uh, re-establish, uh, regain peace and uh, uh, stabilization. Well, I'm almost done with my questions. If you have a general message for the people and government of Ethiopia, you are highly welcome. 
uh, thank you uh, again. Uh, my general message is uh, this is a very uh, critical moment in which the people of Ethiopia is, are, uh, need to stand with the government of Ethiopia in uh, ensuring the rule of law, the constitutional order, and bringing uh, justice, the, the, the renegade uh, junta, who are violating all common standard of humanity, common standard of uh, citizenship, common standard of uh, uh, good good uh, uh, persons. So uh, the government is working uh, tirelessly, and the people has to help uh, the government's effort in various uh, ways, as have already been started uh, by donating uh, what they have and uh, this is a very uh, critical time to understand uh, that we are always behind the people of Tigray. Uh, the Ethiopian people has to show uh, sympathy and affection to their brothers and sisters who are living with them in any part of the country. So uh, in this way, we can uh, separate uh, between the people and the junta. The people are always uh, need uh, peace. The people are always need development. The people are always uh, aspire for uh, well-being, but uh, the, the, the act of the junta is always contrary to the will and the will of the people. So the, the Ethiopian people uh, need to, to, to understand the Tigrayan uh, people wish and uh, help them to achieve uh, success in their uh, law enforcement uh, measure. That is what I can say. As a well, dear Mukta, thank you very much for joining me, and it's a great pleasure to have you here. Many thanks for joining me. Dear viewers, this will bring us to the end of this edition. Amul Kawa Undamu. Many thanks for joining us, and have a beautiful time with the remaining OBN program.